you're late. You know if you turn up. Well, if you hadn't have called me, I'd have come to find you. I need to know what you're going to do. I haven't decided yet. Well, you brought me here to tell me that. You're lucky I haven't called the police. You wouldn't. Why not? You did a terrible thing. You deserve to be punished. I am being punished. Oh, it's easy to say that. I killed my own dad, Carrie. And every morning when I wake up, I see his face. I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. At least you've got your freedom. It's eating me up inside. And I'll never be free of that. I don't care about myself, but I've got kids, and they need me. You know what that feels like. What's he going to do to Scarlet when she finds out? Give me a chance, and I'll, I'll make amends somehow. Please. I don't know, Carl. I'm trying to make sense of it. I don't know what I'm going to do. My goodness. Earth is the matter. I'm sorry, I didn't know where else to turn to. Well, look, sit down. Go on. Never seen you upset like this. I'm sorry. Well, stop apologising. Tell me what it is. I found something out. I don't know if I can tell anyone. I don't know what to do. It's tearing me apart. All right. Come on, you can trust me. I know. Whatever it is, you will feel better if you share it. It's not me I'm worried about, it's you. I don't understand. Oh, God. There's no easy way to tell you this. God, it's awful. What is? I found out who killed Tom. What? How do you know? Are you sure? <laughs> Who was it? It was Carl. No. I thought it was Matthew. I was convinced. I told Carl I knew who the killer was. He thought I meant him. And then all of a sudden he's, he told me. Carl. I know. He was Tom's favourite. I just don't understand. I mean, did he tell you how it happened? Was it in cold blood? Did he plan it? It was a crime of passion. They were arguing. Always arguing. That's the way it was with them. Well, Carl blamed Tom for losing Chaz. That was as much my fault as his. Well, you can't blame yourself. Oh, I just can't take it in. I know. Did the others know that Carl did it and that he's told you? I don't think so. Well, then we have to go to the police before Matthew and Jimmy find out. There's no point. It's my word against Carl's. He'll just deny it. I'll ring Charles Vaughan. He'll know what to do. But there's no evidence. The case didn't even get to trial. It should have. I did everything I could to make sure. What? Well, I, I knew one of them did it. Look, we can't let them get away with this. You know what the boys are like. They don't frighten me. I'll do anything I can to see Carl get what he deserves. So will I. Would you? Yes. If they think we're a threat, who knows what they'll do. They tried to incriminate you during the investigation, didn't they? And then they bribed Harry to lie. Look, it's not me I'm scared for, it's Scarlet. What if she's left without a mother? Oh. Carrie. It wasn't quite as simple as that. What do you mean? Well, I was desperate to see them pay for Tom's death. I knew Harry needed money, so I paid him to give false evidence. I thought you were out of the country. Grayson acted on my behalf. 
And he briefed Harry on what to say. Should have been foolproof. And if it hadn't been for Harry's stupid girlfriend, it would have worked. All the more reason to get it right this time. If we can't go to the police, what are we going to do? We can't just sit here and do nothing. I think we should confront them. What do you think that would achieve? We'll see how Matthew and Jimmy react. Find out if they knew about Carl and covered it up. And then what? They'll be furious, Carl told me. He's on the edge. I think he wants to give himself up. And when they realise that you and I know, and Matthew and Jimmy turn on him, he'll crack. He killed his own father. He's full of guilt. I suppose it's worth a try. And if we have to, we'll lie. We'll say we've already been to the police. Whatever it takes. This better be good. I've got a meeting in Leeds. What I've got to say is a bit more important than your meeting. Is it about business? Oh, she probably just wants new curtains for the office. That's right. Patronise me as usual. What do you expect if this is how you behave? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that's all going to change. From now on, you're going to take me seriously. What is it that is so important? Oh. I ain't got time for this. Not leaving already, are you? What are you doing here? We have something to tell you. What do you mean, we? And how come you two are all chummy so suddenly? Can we talk, please? Sorry. I think we've gone way beyond our cosy little chats. We know the truth. Carrie? I was desperate to see them pay for Tom's death. I knew Harry needed money, so I paid him to give false evidence. I thought you were out the country. No. Grayson acted on my behalf, and he briefed Harry on what to say. It should have been foolproof. And if it hadn't been for Harry's stupid girlfriend, it would have worked. What the hell do you think you're doing? No, I knew you paid him, you conniving bitch. How could you do this? Do you know what she told me? Do you know why she asked you to come here today? Whatever it was, you fell for it. Your precious brother told her that he killed your father, didn't you? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. What? You're talking rubbish. Carl would never do a thing like that. Come. He loved Tom. Did you say you lied to me? Why would you do that to me? You're a fine one to talk about lying. We could have been sent down because of you. You deserve to be. If Carl didn't kill your father, then one of you did. I have had enough of you. You're going to get out of our lives for good. What are you going to do? Kill me too? I did not kill my dad. And if you say that one more time... So help me! You're going to pay for this! Get back here! Ava! You got what you wanted. She's finished. She's finished when I say so. You stay away from me. Or else what? For God's sake, Matt. Stay out of this! You're not going anywhere. Don't do anything you're going to regret. Regret getting rid of you? Well, who are you calling? Get back to me. Oh, Charlie Vaughan, there's a surprise. He's going to be furious when he hears about this. He's useless. You give me the phone. <laughs> Is she dead? No, she's breathing. There's a pulse. Thank God. Speak for yourself. There was no need for this. It was an accident. She got what she deserved. <laughs> oh, my leg. We'll get help as soon as possible. Look, somebody get an ambulance. You're going to pay for this. <laughs> you are in no position to I... make threats. Nobody touched you. You fell. We all saw it. There are four witnesses. No. <laughs> I'll say that you pushed me. I'll tell that to the police. They'll believe me. For God's sake, get an ambulance. Well, there won't be an ambulance. What? You're assuming that we're going to let her leave here alive. She has been poisoned from the moment that she came into our lives. This is our chance to get rid of her for good. Think about what you're saying. Dad would still be alive if he hadn't met her. That's when it all started going wrong. Oh, that's right. Blame me. Shut it! I want no part of this. You stitched her up. 
You're a part of it, whether you like it or not. Right, we put her in the Land Rover, we get her horse out, and we say she had a fall. But she's not dead! Somebody would have to... So we dump her in the woods and leave her there to die. Makes no odds to me. You wouldn't. You... Oh, why? Who's going to stop me? <laughs> you. Uh, no. <laughs> you are not doing this. I can't go through all that again. Watch me again. Get a grip! No. Oh. 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 Whoever it is, get rid of them. One word from you. And you will die. <laughs> oh. What do you want? Have you seen my mum? Sorry? Well, oh, she's supposed to be moving in today. Oh, yeah, she was. She has. She just dumped some stuff and went off for a ride. Oh, right. I just wanted to make sure she'd settled in. Like she'd never been away. Tell her I called by. I will. Larry thinks she's gone for a ride. Zach's off today. And Rodders has gone to Hotton. We've got her exactly where we want her. We do what we like. I will not be party to a murder. You double-crossed her. You must want to see the back of her as much as we do. Not like this. All right, fine. Clear off the lot, yeah. Leave her to me. No, please, don't go, don't, don't go. You're a nurse, you know what to do. Get me an ambulance. I'll do anything, anything, anything you want. Please, just get me an ambulance. Let me out of here. You'll do anything? Yes. Yes, I'll do anything. Okay. I'll see to it. I thought you were going to call an ambulance. Not until you've signed these. What are they? This gives up your right to live here forever. And this authorises the sale of home farm estates. Our lawyer drew them up. They're kosher. And even if they're not... Not much you can do about it. I don't have time to deal with those now. I'm in agony. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> you get a fair price for the business. Enough to make a new star. A long way from here. And even if you're not bothered about yourself, with what we've got on that tape, we can ruin your precious son. He'll never practice law again. And I don't reckon he'll much enjoy prison. Wasn't it, Rosemary? An unfortunate accident. Ah, yes, it, it was. I fell down the stairs. It was very clumsy of me. She was very lucky. Could have been a lot worse. Oh. Well, let Grayson know what happened. You just concentrate on getting better, love. Well, I'd call that a very satisfactory day's work, wouldn't you? I can't believe what you just did. Would you really have killed her? We'll never know, will we? Jimmy? In case you've forgotten, it was you that tricked her into confessing and it was you that got it down on tape. It was never meant to go that far. How do you expect us to react? It was you that started this, but you're not smart enough to think it through. You're right, you're deaf woman. But if it hadn't been for me, you'd never have got rid of her. I still don't understand why you did it. What do you want? What I said earlier. You accept me and Scarlett as part of the family and I play a full part in the business. You really are stupid, aren't you? Why do you say that? Look, she's done us a favour. So what? Doesn't mean we have to do what she wants. Always have a plan B, Matthew. You should know that. I killed my own 
old dad carry. And every morning when I wake up, I see his face. I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. It's eating me up inside. And I'll never be free of that. Why the hell did you have to tell her? I didn't know she was taping me. I thought I could trust you. That's what Rosemary said, and look what happened to her. Now, you were going to give me your mobile, and you're going to tell me where the copies are and all. Or else what? You're going to throw me down the stairs or dump me in the woods? I will do whatever it takes to shut you up. You do not hold this family to ransom! No, you won't. Leave her alone. She betrayed you. I don't care. I hit me away. That's oh. enough. Pack it in. This has gone far enough. If you touch her, I'll go straight to the police and turn myself in. I'll save her the job. Oh, don't talk so soft. I mean it. I've had about as much as I can take. When is this going to end? Here. Take this. Go on. A couple of blows to the head should do the trick. You'll have to kill me first. She's Scarlet's mum. All right. That's how you want it. It's your neck. Looks like you're in. What about the recording? She's one of us now. She's family. She's no reason to use it. Isn't that right? Exactly. You know what? She's got more bottle than the pair you put together. Is that a compliment? The witch is dead. Long live the kings. We've got a visitor. What are you doing here? I was just about to come home. I sent a taxi to get her. Thought we could all have a nice family meal together. I brought my new dress. Well, you better go and put it on. We'd better get cooking, haven't we, Jimmy? Come on, lady. Uh. You were lying there when I called round. How could they do that? I was terrified. But you could have been paralysed. But I wasn't. Look, I've got a bad ankle, a concussion and some bruising. But I'm going to live. Oh, I've gone too far this time. They're not getting away with this. Oh, whoa. oh sorry. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to sort them out. What do you think? No, no, there's no point. Then I'm going to the police. No, you can't do that. They know we bribed Harry. Listen, Carrie tricked me. She got it all on tape. Grayson, I believed that they were going to kill me. And I had to sign over everything. What do you mean, everything? My right to live in the house. And the estate business. And there is nothing we can do about it. It's cool, is this? I feel dead posh. <laughs> you want some of this, lady? Can I? Oh, go on. Half a glass won't do you any harm. Of course, you realise. Now you remember the family, you're going to have to take up golf. <laughs> Must be joking. It's compulsory. A bit of healthy competition. The winner gets the drinks in. Dad used to swear by it. Helps oil the wheels. Mum's rubbish at spot. Well, Scrabble's about my limit. And she cheats at that. I do not. Nice one. What do you mean? It's wrong. There's no harm to bend the rules once in a while. I'm sure they're very pleased with themselves. But this isn't the end. I'll never forget what they've done to me. And one day I'll get even. I'll pick them all. One by one, if need be. You're not liking Jimmy. Jimmy isn't going to be a problem. He's too stupid. Carl is just weak. <laughs> Carrie, she thinks she's been clever, but she'll rue the day she ever met me. As for Matthew, he likes to play the tough guy. But he's vain and he's arrogant, and one day, I shall destroy him. I'd like to propose a toast. The family. Mom the family. family.